Hi, I'm Ernie Manoos. Today we're coming to you from Houston's Fifth Ward in the Habitat for Humanity community built by President Jimmy Carter just a few years ago. Today we found two neighbors who are willing to take the challenge to make the big switch. Two days in each other's homes to transform a single room. And right now we'll introduce you to those two lucky ladies. Our first contestant, Patricia, already considers herself lucky, but that doesn't stop her from entering every contest she comes across. This time, she's a winner, and she knows what she wants. I thought this would be a great chance to get window treatment and furniture and color coordination, and um, this is the ideal thing that I would need for this room to make it look good and, and, and uh, look larger, make the space look larger and interesting. First thing I would like to change would be um, window treatment, uh, the color of the walls, um, the carpet, and the furniture. And next door lives Joycelyn and her two children. Joycelyn's been dealing with a lot since she moved into her own home a few years ago. I'm a two-time cancer survivor. I'm grateful, I'm still grateful, and that's how things have been happening in my life. And uh, I just want to say, I'm excited for Patricia. Uh, I'm excited for me too, you know. I like to have my living room, which I know this is a small area, the living room and the dining area. But I would like to see uh, it separated. And a lot of people that comes over when they eat or whatever, everybody bumps their head on that lamp. Well, I don't know what else, nothing, too much else you can do. You know, but bad color. And now, the switch is on. Okay, you both know the rules. We'll go over them one more time. You have two days. You're going to stay at your neighbor's home. No peeking. No <laughs> looking in there, okay? Okay. You're not agreeing with me. You're just <laughs> okay. sitting there going, okay, that's what I want to know. You have $1,500. Out of that money, a piece of Bassett furniture is going to come and everything else. You each have one friend that can help you out. Your friend's name? My sister, Gloria. And your friend's name? And my co-worker, Rick. You each also get a designer, and the designer gets an apprentice. Are you ready to begin? Ready. Let's make the big switch. Right. There you go, and go to your homes. Let's see if they can do it. Hi, Patricia. I'm Jennifer Lowe. I'm the designer that's going to be working with you today. I'm nice really excited to about this project. Thank you. So what did you have envisioned for Jocelyn's room? Um, a very nice, uh, clean look, um, not too contemporary. Great. Well, let me show you what I've got, and I think I can incorporate all that into the plan. We have a new uh, piece of furniture, okay. and we're going to be building an uh, entertainment cabinet oh. across on the wall to house her TV and all her books and all the video games for the kids. Okay. We're also going to be building today a custom table that will serve as an ottoman and extra seating when she has all her family over here for football games. Mm, so okay. we got a lot of work cut out for us today. Are y'all ready? Yes, we yeah. are. All right, let's get started. Next door, the yellow team is about to be greeted by our other designer. Hi, my name's Troy Broussard. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, and um, I was wondering if you might have any indication about what Patricia would like to see in this room, or what you'd like to see done. Well, I'm going to tell you what I would like to see, mainly uh, the curtains. I would like to see her some drapes of curtains and uh, some color. She only has the black. I think we need some, you know, we need some color in here. I think we're going to use green, and we're going to use a lot of it. Good. good. And uh, you're right. Um, she definitely needs some help on her windows. I think that's yeah. one of the main things. Yeah. Um, I also see that, you know, she has a nice chaise lounge and she has a couple nice pieces. Right. It's hard to get away from the black. Right. So we're going to bring a few more black elements in okay. and so that it all ties together. You're definitely getting, <laughs> she's definitely getting curtains over that's here. That's the main thing. And I want to tell you, they're dressy. Oh, they yeah. They're dressy. You know, she got that taste. And, uh, you know, we're, we can't do anything with the floor, but I bought a real pretty rug. Meanwhile, okay, you ready to see the colors? Yes. yes. All right. This is the wall color. Ta da! I think that'll look great in here. Yes, I And then think this so. is the color for the base of the custom table. Oh, that's What do you think? Rich. 
I think yeah, that's going to be really cool. nice. And this is going to be the trim work. This is going to go on all the walls and all the ceilings. Oh, that's pretty. One of the reasons why I picked the color is that I wanted to bring purple and green into the room. And I found a rug, which you'll see tomorrow, and these are the threads out of the rug. Um, and it's got lots of green and some pretty purple. And there's that thing. Yeah, there it is. This fabric was hard to stay on budget with, but I thought it was mm. just beautiful. Oh, oh, that is pretty. It's got... That is pretty. Pretty. It's got that green in it, yes, if you that. look, and it's also got that beautiful purple mm -hmm. in it. That is pretty. These two fabrics are the shears that we're going to use for her window panels. The blue and the copper. Very right. nice. Thank Very you. Very pretty. Thank you. I think it'll really be a nice accent against the gold walls. Mm -hmm. okay. And then this is the fabric that we're going to use on the custom table. And it's got a nice chenille, durable weave. So it'll be great for her boys, right. soft to sit on. Outback Jennifer has a few tasks for the man with the hammer and nails. That's Arturo, our handyman. Today we're going to work on building this custom TV cabinet for Jocelyn. Okay. And um, I want to go all the way to the ceiling with it. I want it in three sections mm -hmm. with bookcases on either side, a TV bumped out um, slightly deeper in the front. And we're going to do drawers at the bottom for storage for the tapes and then um, Two doors, doors at, at the, the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's it. Thinking good. Yeah, we But that's not the only thing on Arturo's plate. I want this to go across to be like the dividing line where we're going to stop the paint. And then these will kind of finish, finish it out. Uh -huh. So this will be just the top of the door frame. Okay. And I need it to be done pretty quick. This piece is going to be a custom um, ottoman coffee table. And also it's going to have storage underneath in these little seats uh -huh. that are going to slide in like pie wedges. Right. for her sons to sit at when they're watching television. The chandelier isn't located in the right spot for me. I'd like to see it moved to the center of the room. Whew, now that seems like enough to keep them all busy for a while. Oops, did someone forget to measure something? Okay, so we've got it figured out how we're going to make it fit, but the whole reason that it didn't fit is because we didn't take into account yes. how it would be angling it back up, and that when it angles up, when you're moving it in, it's actually longer than the yes, feet. Yes, that, one, that one's more longer, and <clears throat> that's why we have to cut it at the bottom part okay. from the back side. While Arturo makes some adjustments, it's time to check in with our designers. Troy, there's a reason I called you here today. I want to know what your progress is. <laughs> it's pretty slow, Godfather. <laughs> you're still <laughs> painting. We're six hours in, and you're still painting. That's because we can't get the cameras out of the way. <laughs> how are we supposed to do anything with all the cameras? I don't know how you guys are going to finish. And you still tell me, homework by 4 o'clock. Well, look, I, I understand there's trouble next door with the carpenter, and I need my carpentry work done. Well, let's go find out where it is. Hey, Arturo. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> good. All right. I came to see what your progress was. I've got a hole in the ceiling, which uh -huh. is a good thing. Uh -huh. And the chandelier is down. Uh -huh. And I was just wondering when we were going to get uh, the J-Box moved or get some of the moldings up. Okay, yeah. Uh, just let me cut this piece here, and I'll be there about five minutes. Really? So, Jennifer, I've called you here to ask you about your progress. How are you doing? We're doing better now that we've got the cabinet dilemma fixed. Explain what the cabinet, cabinet dilemma was. Well, the cabinet is built at eight feet high, and the ceilings are eight feet. But I think Arturo forgot to take out a couple of inches so he could angle it back in to fit. So we've had to take it apart, cut it down a little, and then reassemble it. But they're almost done with it. Okay, besides that, how are you on everything else? Where are you at? We still have the custom table to build. 
so that we're behind on that, and then we still got to get the crown up too. And I know he's been promised over at Troy's five for minutes. the last thirty minutes. <laughs> right, but five minutes is all they've told him. Is uh -huh. he gonna make it? I think so. It's gonna be a struggle, but I think he'll get it done. Hey Troy. Mm-hmm. I do believe more than five minutes are up, and guess what? Arturo just went to lunch. <laughs> I knew that guy was blowing smoke when we were out there. <laughs> While Arturo enjoys a well-deserved break and Joycelyn is readying a chair for painting, I'll go see what I can learn from Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hey, Ernie. Okay, so I'm assuming this means the walls are, the first coats are dry. Yes. And now what are you doing? Now I'm putting on a glaze to soften the yellow in the wall, and it's a um, clear glaze. This is it right here. And then I tinted it with the tinting medium right there with a little bit of burnt umber. And then I brush it on, let it kind of stick to the wall, and then I just kind of wipe it off. So why are you doing that? Well, because I think the yellow is a little too bright, little so too I want to tone it down. Okay, and how long will that take? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> how quick does it dry, do you know? No, this, this is oil, so it takes a while to dry. So it won't be dry till tomorrow morning. Arturo's returned. Uh huh. As we can tell by stuff coming in and out of the ceiling right now. Okay, you know, and, and I hate to gripe, but not only was he more than five minutes, but he also, when he was rooting around up there, turned off the air conditioner switch because we've been baking over here. <laughs> and we kept fiddling with the breakers. We hit every breaker. We, everybody came and took a twist at the thermostat. It's like. Who, but it's working now. It's working now, and I mean, and he's, he's up there up working. There. That's progress. You two are. Uh -oh. So, uh -oh. what are you guys doing? Taking a little break? Oh, I think so. Soaking in the atmosphere. <laughs> okay, I do believe you have 48 tabs to still sew onto these curtains. That's right. Is this ever going to end? I'm hoping so in the next couple hours. And uh, full finishing king over here? Well, we have the hallway left. And we're still working on the pantry and cabinet and stuff. So, so how do you we're getting like, there. How do you like the way the room looks? I think oh, it looks great. Think she's going to be surprised? Oh, yeah. Very yeah. much so. What do you think might be going on next door? Hopefully progress. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they're not resting like you two. Uh-oh. Okay. Now, back to work. All right. <laughs> Seems like our two teams have put in plenty of work today, but they're not done yet. Our designers are just about ready to assign some homework. It's obvious that we need to finish what we started. You've done a wonderful job on the pillows, and you have a couple to finish up. Um, get the chandelier sock done. Okay. We need it to be about half as long as we anticipated since okay. we were able to move the chandelier. Mm -hmm. And um, then I'd like for you, Joycelyn, to finish masking off the chairs okay. and possibly even spray paint them depending on how much time you have tonight. Okay. And then tomorrow we'll, we'll have some more creative decorating to do. Um, we're getting the hard stuff out of the way today. Yeah. So thanks a lot. I think we've gotten a lot accomplished and it looked beautiful so far. Okay. All right. All good right. night. All right. Good, good night. night. Good night. Have a good one. We'll have some homework assignments tonight. I need us to prime this cabinet so we can get ready to paint it tomorrow. Okay. And I need us to finish the tabs for the drapery and get those okay. pressed so we can get those sewn on. And I'm out of here. I hope y'all can stay up and get it done. But I've got to go shop tonight so I've got the accessories for tomorrow. She goes shopping and we have to stay here. Oh. See you later. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. Thanks. We're not I fine. We're tired. We did all this work. <laughs> We got a little bit of sleep, however. Beautiful. We made about 12 o'clock. Uh huh. We almost it done. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. The sofa looks great. It looks like you cleaned the sofa. Yes, I did. Okay. I did. We're going to have to just no, finish no. the table. They had to borrow the sewing machine. They had a little bit of problem next door. We don't know what or why, but it kind of delayed me a little bit to get my sock done. But okay. I finally got it done this morning before I made sure I got up before you got here. So the chandelier sock is done. And I got it done. done it's done. Great. It's done. And, um, then the next thing we're going to do is put the curtains up. 
Okay, I just wanted to talk to you about the work we've got to get accomplished today. I've kind of changed gears on the cabinet. Mm -hmm. I went out this morning and bought us latex enamels and latex glazing so we can get the cabinet to dry quicker today. I was really concerned about using oil base. Okay. So we've switched gears on that and we've got to get this ottoman um, upholster today and we've got our craft project which is gold leafing one of um, Jocelyn's mirrors that we found yesterday behind her door in her bedroom. Okay. Good. Good. So let's get to work. To add to the new rooms, new furniture. And this also has to come out of the $1,500 budget. Perfect. Gee whiz. Look at Perfect. it. Look Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I like the lines on these legs. This is going to work really well with the table that she already has. This is going to be fine. That'll be yes. great with the drapery rod. Oh, this is going to look really good. And this with the, with the oh, color of the walls. Oh, look at there. That's great. That's beautiful. I love it. And the wood feet. This can be really oh, nice. Oh, and the legs also. Legs match. Mm. Great piece. Pretty. Nice it's going to look drawing. fabulous in our room. Yes, it is. Well, hello, ladies. Hello. So how's Hi. it going? Oh, oh pretty, pretty good. good. Moving yeah. right along. So you guys are well into this, and now you're getting this stuff finished up. Was this one of the homework assignments we didn't get to last night? No, this was the uh, the homework assignment was to wipe it down, and we did that, but uh -huh. he says we need to use this ammonia so that the paint... Right can cling to it so, all off of it, so so yeah. we're redoing it. So what are you thinking about the design? How do you like it in there? Oh, it's wonderful. Everything is coming together so well. You think I've Patricia's seen... going to like it? She's going to oh, like it. Oh, goodness, so? yes. Yeah, she's going to like it. So when you get foam, what density? Do you have any idea? Densities or? There are different densities um, available, of course, for seat cushions. You're going to want something that's denser, especially on a sofa than you would, let's say, on a back cushion. You know, is it want expensive? That sulfur. It's not terribly expensive. Foam is a lot more economical than um, down. You never realize how important a stapler is, do you? Mm -hmm. They have lots of handy uses. It's one thing. They teach you how to use one in interior design school. Yes, they do. We have a test on it and everything. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Stapler 101, huh? Mm -hmm. Looks good. Good. We can kind of smooth it all out and brush it off and give it a good vacuum. Why aren't you just mounting this flush to the ceiling? Because this isn't the part, this isn't the canopy. This is just the top of the fixture. The canopy is up here. So I want to conceal this and dress it up a little bit. <laughs> this is too big. No! <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't know they were different sizes. Well, what, what, the, the only thing that I have to do is we have to do it again. <laughs> well, they say the third time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> it's little things like this that'll make the timing a little off for this team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Today we're going to uh, leaf this mirror, and the object is to make it look as old as possible. Mm -hmm. Didn't they already start that? They sure did, <laughs> and that's very nice. We already have a big old crack, but that's okay. We're going to leave it like that. This that mirror doesn't character. come out of your budget because where was it? Behind Jocelyn's bedroom door. I found it. Always amazing when you I find left. things like that. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to start with the base coat of the silver metallic. Okay. And I started a little bit here. We're just going to paint it on, and then we're going to let that dry really well. And then we're going to go over it with some clear glue. And once the glue's dried pretty well to, to where it's just tacky, then we take this foil paper, and we will press it down, scrape it off, and it's going to leave little bits of gold in there. You're going to paint. She's going to copy what you're doing. Yeah. That's right. I'm, she's going she's gonna like to do... Like an old-world Xerox. 
just opposite color. Well, we're going to do color. purple and yellow. And she's going to handle the yellow side, and I'm going to handle the purple side. And then are you going to switch? No, not at all. She's doing that one, and I'm doing this, this one. This is mine. Probably when we get finished, mine may have to go in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they going to go in the room? Try. They're going to go over the sofa as a pair. Oh my God. What is it? What is that? It goes no. up between the canopy and the, and the ceiling. Oh my. The so what, the chandelier? chandelier. Yes. There is no way yes. we are putting yes. that. Give me that. <laughs> that. No one found that. That's, that's gone. Hi. No one will ever know. And those little finishing touches finish up the switch. After two days and fifteen hundred dollars each, looks like time is up. Will Patricia find elegance in her spruced up living dining area? Will Joycelyn find her new whimsical family space a first rate upgrade? Let's complete the big switch. I thought that, the, that budgeting my time was as, as important as budgeting the money. And so um, I was very prepared coming into this, and we were organized getting it done. And I also organized, uh, budgeted for you know trial and error and things going wrong. The room was a big empty canvas. I wanted to focus on things that she didn't have instead of replacing things that were already there. I mean, when you're dealing with a budget like this, you've, you've got to be able to take the good and, and fill in the blanks. I thought it was very important to give, her, um, to give her some good window treatments. I mean, she has been living with sheets, and the sheets didn't even match. So, <laughs> you know, so I wanted to give her something nice. And it's, it's also a very important element to uh, making this a very sophisticated-looking room. There are two candlesticks in this room. Uh -huh. How much did those cost? $2.70. Each? For the pair. I, I found them at a thrift store, and I could tell they were good candlesticks. They, were, they looked so nasty, but I could see that there was some handwork in them. And so um, with a good polishing, they look great. Chandelier. That was a markdown, too, at a thrift shop, $50.40. <laughs> okay, now we're going to see if she likes the room. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> okay, it has been two days. You've done a lot of work. You weren't the only ones. Next door, a lot of work was going on. You weren't the only ones. You weren't the only ones. There was work going on in here. Are you nervous? A little. I'm excited for her. Well, take a look. Ready now? Open your eyes. Oh, my oh, word. Look that. at you. So, what do you think? Oh, wow. Oh, it's pretty. It's a bit it's overwhelming, really, isn't it? Really, really, really nice. looks, looks totally it's totally nice. Looks totally different. Yes. Looks homely. Homely or homey? <laughs> well, homey. <laughs> homey, homey. I want to know, what do you think of the paintings? Oh, they're beautiful. Uh, really you know who did those? Right. Gloria did the yellow one, uh -huh. and Troy did the oh, purple really? one. Oh, okay. And they painted them together, so they go together. They're a match wow. set. Okay. There's something else new. Oh, and oh big. a tear. Well, something else, too, big and shiny and pretty much straight in oh, front of you. A, um, a chandelier. Wow. Oh, I like oh, the color. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, this is oh, nice. Yeah. This is very pretty. Real, real nice. Now, if I remember oh, correctly, you covered your windows with <laughs> sheets. <laughs> what do you think of those? They're beautiful. Well, I That's hope great. that your neighbors are as excited, or your neighbor is as excited as you are, because we're going to go show them their house next. Okay. Nervous? Mm -hmm. Very. Scared? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, should we prolong this a little? No. <laughs> Open your eyes. 
goodness. Hello, <laughs> Joyce. <laughs> what do you think? Not what you were expecting? You Not disappointed? A bit. A bit? <laughs> What is it that you don't like about the room? <laughs> Too casual for you? Is it just that it's different? It's different. <laughs> yeah, where is the dining room? Which one is the dining? Get right here at the table and chairs. <laughs> Are there things you do like in the room? The entertainment center that is really good. <laughs> it's so different. It's so different. Yeah. Do you think you could get used to it? I don't know. I think so. Look at the border. They put a Yeah, they put they put the molding up. Nice. I think it's cute. It's just not for me. Yeah. So, another room finished. Another surprise. Yes. Not what we were expecting for a reaction know, at, at all. all. What do you think it is? I think it's the change. It's a lot of change. It's laid out different than what she had before. And I think it's hard for her to, to visualize the entertainment center. It's not put together. It's not, you know, it doesn't have the storage in it that she can see yet. They can house all her kids' belongings. And I think she's having a hard time with the dining and the seating close together instead of being in separate spaces. What could you have done differently? What was the big problem, do you think, in the room? I think the entertainment cabinet was ambitious <laughs> yeah, yeah. to get done. I really felt like that's something that she really needed. One central space that she could use for storage that would help with a lot of the things in the room. Yeah. And so that's what I felt like was the most important. What are some of the things that you think were the successes in this room? I think the whole rearrangement of the space it has a completely different feel. It's open and it just is a lot crisper, cleaner. Well, Jennifer, thank you very much. You're welcome. So I guess that just about wraps it up for us here today. I will tell you this, as work continues on Joycelyn's Entertainment Center, she's actually beginning to like the room. So I guess that means we've had two successful big switches here. On behalf of everyone at Houston PBS, Bassett Furniture, our designers Troy and Jennifer, and of course our two contestants, I'm Ernie Manus. Thanks for joining us. Okay, they made this one. See, this one is connected. See, here's the ground to go in it. Let me just talk. For your concern. I'm electrocuted and he walks away. It's like, okay, no problem. After two days and $1,500 each. <laughs>